hammed up. Y'all ready for this? As the fall sports season comes to an end and students prepare to put away their helmets and cleats for the season, it may surprise you that others are readying to draw their weapons in the spirit of competition. With a rich history tracing back to the 12th century, fencing combines coordination and technique in a unique and competitive manner. This week, we sat down with fencing coach Nicole Mann and NHS fencer Krista Jordan to ask them about the high school fencing experience. So as a, as a fencing club, it means that we don't have the, the access to the money and the facilities that would be supported with the Northampton High School team. Um, we have the same sort of environment as a team sport. It's just what we're doing is much more focused on individual participation as opposed to we're all going to go to the stands and have cheerleaders and do all the fun things that most team sports actually get. The way that the Northampton High School works for their fencing club is they come to PVFA for the facility. So PVFA, Pioneer Valley Fencing Academy, I remember, um, <laughs> donates the space to the fencing students because beforehand they were utilizing the cafeteria space, which means a lot of time is spent uh, sweeping and moving tables and setting up the equipment that we have here in the space. It's uh, definitely hard to not be recognized as a team because we do put in a lot of work and effort. Um, we do a lot of conditioning, a lot of stuff that like actual sports teams at NHS do, but we don't get recognized for that. A lot of people don't even know there is a fencing like club. So the, the club dues that come in from that are, um, I believe it's about $200 depending on if you're volunteering your time as an armorer, so you're fixing all of the fancy weapons, whatever you're doing, um, you're recruiting people, you're bringing people in. Um, every person that comes in brings more funds to the school, or from the school, and bring more, brings more funds in to have the equipment here. What would you say to someone that's never fenced before that you might want to join? It really depends on what you're looking for because the fencing team is a great balance between an actual sport that's rigorous and it's going to get you into great shape and improve your reflexes, but it's also a really good atmosphere. Like I said before, we're like kind of a family here because we're a smaller team. We're under 20 people. We all know each other. We know inside jokes and we do fun things together. We go out and play laser tag and stuff. And so it's really a lot of fun. Girls and Boys Cross Country has their Western Mass Championship meet on Saturday at NMH. Football lost their game on Friday against Amherst 34-7 and have a playoff game tonight in West Springfield at 7. Also, winter sports registration is now open. Powder Puff game has been rescheduled to next Thursday.